Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for August 7th, 8th, and 9th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Libras. Hello, my Libras. Well, you know that I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks. I am using my Angel Tarot cards for the main message, and then I'll pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay. I'm an intuitive channeler. That means that I open myself up to my higher power. Whatever the message is for whoever needs to hear it, it comes through. Anyway, I've got three cards face down. The first and third are reversed. I look at reverse cards as a little stronger energy. So let's see what we have for the weekend for my Libras. Now, August 8th is Lionsgate. Um, I was going to talk about it, but it just made the videos longer. I'm going to um, I'm going to try to put it into a smaller video, and um, I'll post that then, okay? Plus other articles that I might find about that. Okay, first card up, and again, this one is reversed for my Libras. Here we are. The King of Water, Water Energy. This is our Scorpio, it is, it is our Pisces, it is our Cancer energy, fluid emotional energy. Wa the king of water, the king of water, you know, there, there's this, you know, okay, there's got, there is this really strong emotional energy coming here. This could be definitely masculine energy. Now, it doesn't mean that it's going to be, that it could, it could be a man, it, you know, it could be definitely, but it could be for male or female. But I feel a very strong masculine energy, very um, an, a, a someone who gets very highly emotional around you. Now, in many ways, the King of Water also has this ability to reason. But I feel like the emotional energy, and this could be this could be you, my Libra. I kind of feel like it's someone around you more so. But you know, this is kind of like they want you. You know, I feel like the that this energy around you wants you to actually filter you know how you would you know you know how you would just like you know use a filter to just kind of clean or kind of like you know you you're 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 pouring your water through the water comes out and then the filter catches all of the residue and stuff so just be oh careful be aware of this person's energy around you now this could be a boss this could be a significant other because I do you know I do feel it's something you know that could be your work job career could be personal interpersonal intimate it could also be something to do with family or your home but you know but it's like I feel like there's going to be this emotional outpouring and it's like you my Libras have to filter it out you have to bring balance to this and it is one of those things that you do well you know, so it could be one of those things that you might want to run from, but it could be one of those things that you just say, you know what, in the long run, it's just going to be better if we just deal with it, okay? But I feel like there's going to be this outside sourced energy. You, It's from, you know, whoever. So, and the king, remember, the king has a commanding, the king is someone in command, okay? But it's almost like, you know, but yet the king, I don't feel like the king male or female in this, but it's a masculine type of energy, is going to be in total control of this emotional energy. Okay? Okay. But, in other words, the king of water is trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. Next card up, here we are, the five of earth. So maybe this, maybe if this is a significant other, or if this is you, I don't really feel like it's you. It could be a significant other. It could be somebody that is, you know, that, um, you know, it could just be somebody that is a water sign too. Um, but you know, with it, it, you know, I feel like there's going to be some worries about, you know, changes in worries about money situation. Okay, now. Five of Earth, Earth is solid energy. It is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, something, someone you can touch. Fives have to do with a little bit of a struggle, a little bit of change. It could be positive, it could be negative. 
but it creates a little bit of anxiety. Now, remember, something you can touch, it could be some it could be about money, money with, you know, job, work, career. But I feel like this is I feel like this, you know, is worrying about money and tries to bring it to you to fix, okay? I don't I know we're going this is, you know, this is the type of energy around you. The thing about it is you are good at managing money if you are allowed to do that. If you are given the money to manage. The thing is, I feel like this emotional, you know, this emotional energy, it's kind of like, I need help, I need help, help me, help me, help me. And then when you say, well, then let me see what you have, then the um, this emotional energy is like, no, no, no. So it, it, it's really kind of like, you know, you're, you're between a rock and a hard place dealing with whoever this emotional energy is, okay? Why don't you just, you know, hey, why don't you take, maybe you need to just turn off your phone this weekend. Anyway, fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. I don't really feel like this is your fear, though. I just feel like, and, I mean, but it could be. It could be your worries. It could be. We're in strange different times right now. It could be. I feel like it's the other people around you, and you're just trying to just kind of say, simmer down, everybody, simmer down. Anyway, last card. This one's reversed. Here we are. Release. Okay, release. Archangel Azrael. Things are shifting. Things are changing. Things are moving. And, you know, and you, my Libras, have actually been, you know, it's almost like these weird times has taken the mask off of a lot of the people that you've had to interact with. And you are seeing them as how they ha they truly, truly are. Some of them are wonderful. Some of them are not nice. But it's allowing you to actually let go of a lot of the energies around you. Okay? Okay. Not the, not the, not, not the nice ones. But you know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. Okay. So Archangel Azrael. The end of a phase or situation. Spiritual transformation. Time to move on. So, yeah, I mean, and, and it's it's like, it's kind of like, you know, you, and not that, not that even that you get mad or anything. It's not even that you get mad, but you're kind of like, fine, I don't have to get involved with this. And I know, this, this seems really specific. So, <laughs> anyway, let's go on. Let's go on for one last card. For my Libras, who is this for? Actually, I feel a lot of strength with this. I feel a lot of clarity. And again, that king of water, I, don't, I mean, it could be you, um, but it, it feels like that five of earth and that king of water, that those two belong together, that it's like they're coming to you, kind of like the Henny Penny story. If you don't know what that is, you can Google it. And it's like, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. And you're like, what again? Isn't this like the 28th time in the last 10 days that the sky's been falling? So anyway, last card up is the page of Ariel. So whatever this is, whoever's screaming around you, the sky is falling. You know, it, it's time to kind of move on. It's time to be looking for that, whatever that other opportunity is. Page of Earth, page of Ariel, again, is that Earth energy. So it, I don't know that, you know, page of Ariel is generally when, it, for many times over, it's, or it's when you're looking for that other job, you're getting that other job, you're learning that other job, you're getting trained for that other job. You're getting excited about your future. You're getting excited about moving on and leaving the drama. Okay? Okay. Reliable, clever, educated, balanced. An exciting opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. So there, there's, there's, I, I do feel that there's a lot of this. This is your drama. I don't have to deal with it. I'm moving on. And I think it sounds like, you know, you find your, you find something to get yourself busy with and it actually feels good. It feels good for me. My, it feels good for you, my Libras, and it feels good for me too. Now, you know what to do with the buttons. Please like, share, subscribe. But before we end, you know, my heart, my heart goes out and I hope that, you know, everybody will join me in this. My heart, my thoughts, my prayers goes out to everyone in Lebanon who has, you know, who has been impacted. And if not, who have maybe family there.
We have a lot of subscribers that are all over the world. And, you know, so my heart, my prayers, my thoughts go out to you. I watched those videos. I was shocked. And I was not even, you know, I mean, I can't imagine what you're going through. So just know that you're here. But as always, my Libras, for you, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.